Hello everybody, Herp Derp, I'm Walrus, and welcome to the Aftermath episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. And in this Aftermath episode, I will show you how to get um, every power-up that uh, s uh, anybody in the hero story can get after that wasn't needed for the actual hero story at, at hand. Um, I will also be explaining the story if you didn't get it so far. So, going through the first part here with City Escape, we notice Sonic has been captured by the military. We have no idea yet until we reach the end of this level. The reason he well, he takes out everybody on board and escapes into City Escape. It's rather creepy how an entire military base can be taken down by one hedgehog, but that's beside the point. Um, so we figure out that uh, Sonic the Hedgehog has been captured by the military for some unbeknownst reason. And then we later find out that uh, the military has actually mistaken Sonic the Hedgehog for Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow is apparently the ultimate life form who can utilize the power of chaos control. We have no idea what he's from yet and how he even came into this world, but the thing we do know is that he apparently did something to make Sonic look bad. So, that's all I can tell you for right now. So now, let me uh, cut until we actually get to where the power-up is. Alright, now that I'm back, I forgot to say, unbeknownst to Sonic, because he was in the array of bli being blinded by chaos control, he didn't even notice that the military was right behind him, and uh, he got captured again. <laughs> and we'll find out where he's going as soon as I explain the next one. Okay. As far as the hidden item goes, it's right down here. Use your bounce bracelet to go through all of these boxes here. And don't land on the spring, like I did by accident. But, ah, spring! So don't land on the spring. Kill these two guys if you ever so want to. And come over here to receive your power-up. The magic gloves. Change the magic hand in the action window. Press the B button when enemy is close. Capture the enemies and turn them into a ball and throw them at other enemies. This is a very fun power-up in my opinion. You can turn any kind of enemy you want just by pressing Y and pressing B. You can turn them into a little ball and throw them at other enemies. It's rather fun in my opinion. Alright, I'll meet you back when we get the next power-up. Alright, now that I'm back at Wild Canyon, we can actually get back to Knuckles' part of the story. Uh, where Knuckles' part of the story starts was at Angel Island. Angel Island is home to Knuckles and the Master Emerald. He is his, so his sole pur purpose, as shown in Sonic Adventure 3, and apparently in, um, what? There was an emerald? I don't even need emeralds! And apparently in the original Sonic Adventure, his duty was to protect the Master Emerald from anybody who came by to steal it. And as it turns out, Rouge the Bat, famous treasure hunter, has also been eyeing his emerald. So they try to duke it out for the emeralds, and Eggman ends up coming by searching for Chaos Emeralds. For some unbeknownst reason, we'll be getting in that into that later, I believe. And he ends up stealing it. And to prevent from it being stolen, Knuckles does what any three-year-old would do and actually break his toy and make sure nobody will ever get it ever again. And for some odd reason, even though the Master Emerald is, was no longer on Angel Island, as shown in Sonic Adventure 1, Angel Island did not plummet into the ocean. I still do not know why. Maybe because there wasn't an ocean over it, and it couldn't plummet over what it wasn't over, but that's beside the point. And now that we're done with the story, we can actually get on to where the power-up is at hand. So, let's fly over here and head up this der sarcophagus guy here, and dig into this wall here. Well, we'll teleport you into your new power-up, Mystic Melody. There, every character in this game has their own Mystic Melody. All you have to do is press B next to one of these guys, and something strange will happen no matter what. It will either show you a way to get to a special hidden chow, as another uh, hidden mission will show you. It will either give you a warp, as seen here. This warp takes you to the uh, original opening to Wild Canyon. And there's uh, some other properties that also get you to newer items, but I think that's only with one person. And that's pretty much all Mystic Melody is good for, just opening up new paths and getting 100% in the game. Alright, now, on to the next power-up. Welcome to Prison Lane, once again. <laughs> At this part in the story, Tails realizes on satellite television, apparently, since Tails has a television, that Sonic the Hedgehog has been captured again for crimes he did not commit, or as Tails likes to believe he didn't commit. 
Tails was almost positive he didn't commit these crimes, so he decides to bust, bust him out of a little prison he's heard of called Prison Island. And, um, unbeknownst to him, he notices Amy on Prison Island being cat being about to be cornered by Eggman. Why Eggman was gunning down a little girl, we'll never know. <laughs> Tails defeats Eggman and uh, heads inside the base to rescue Sonic the Hedgehog, and brings Amy with him. As they enter the base, as they enter the base, as you are seeing right now, Amy Rose somehow ca catches a ride with him. We do not know where Amy is right now. She is somewhere inside the tornado, most likely. I have no idea. And as we get to where Sonic is, we bust him out of prison. And after we bust him out of prison, we realize inside of his prison cage there are cryptic writings scattered across the walls. For what purpose? We have no idea. All right, now that I've explained up to this part, I will meet you at the end of the level where the power-up actually is. And am I seriously going to die? Hopefully I don't. All right, now that we've destroyed everything at the end of the level, we'll notice in the corner here that the gate is still locked. So what do we do? Well, let's just jump and aim in the corner there because there was another ro robot that I failed to show you. And now that we got in Mission Street the new bazooka, we can actually destroy these metal crates. And past these metal crates is two robots to our left and our right. Sorry. And another gate leading us to the Laser Blaster. The lock-on missile powers up and missile explodes and explodes to destroy enemies in a wider area. This is pretty darn effective, actually. It helps you kill more enemies in a little bit of time. So my spamming technique will actually be of help to you. So I'll meet you back at my next one. I did. Next power-up, I mean. See ya. Alright, the next power-up is with Sonic in Green Forest. And at this point in the story, Sonic realizes he has to escape the military base again. Sonic's job is to escape the military, apparently. So, un even though uh, Tails still has the tornado, he apparently can't take Sonic off in the tornado, even though they do anyway when the island explodes. Eh, I don't know, I guess they wanted a little extra levels, I guess. <laughs> And also, that boss battle was Shadow. For some odd reason, Shadow was on this island. We do not know why yet. <laughs> Even Shadow was surprised at the fact Sonic would be on this island. And we were surprised that Shadow was here too. And apparently, we think Shadow is a faker. <laughs> Sonic apparently hates Shadow for getting locked up and for framing him. And I don't even think Shadow's purpose was intentionally even to frame him in the first place. And well, thankfully, Sonic defeats Shadow, and they're able to defeat, and they're able to leave the island in well, no time at all. So I will meet you all back at the power up. Well, I'm dumb. The power up is actually right here, so I guess I'm done explaining. While being done explaining. See Mr. Guy over there? You want a homing attack him. Homing attack Mr. Guy, homing attack this, and homing attack of this. The extra life and the ancient lights. This is a power up from Sonic Adventure 1 if you've seen it before. The light attack to defeat multiple enemies in a charged area. So let me show this off real quick. People use the light dash more often than not to get to higher places because the light dash can give you a super jump. Oh sorry. I meant to do something else. I meant to jump while also using the light dash. Uh, hopefully there's enough enemies around that I can actually use the light dash. And I kind of just died for no reason. That's great. I suppose I'll show off the light dash when I get to a few enemies. Be right back. What do these robots even do? I guess I'll show it off here. See, as soon as you homing attack randomly into the enemy. For some odd reason, I didn't attack him there. I don't know why. Alright, so, well, you saw it anyway, so I'll meet you all back at the next power-up. Whee! <laughs> Welcome to the Aquatic Mine once again! And, as the storyline goes so far, Eggman is once again trying to build up his Eggman empire. And to do this, he's trying to bribe the government and make it so he doesn't destroy the country completely with a giant laser cannon he made on a space colony called Ark. And Tails decides it would be a good idea in order to stop Eggman to find Eggman. by u He assumes that Eggman has the six Chaos Emeralds to have enough energy to power that cannon. And he uses the Emerald to try to find them. But unfortunately he can't trace the... Um, but unfortunately he can't trace the other Emeralds due to the Emerald he has by himself. So he automatically assumes the Emeralds are in space. So instead he traces the call through a president 
through a <laughs> through a call that the president and Eggman are having on the current disposition of the Eggman Empire thing, and we trace Eggman's and we trace and we try to figure out a way to get to space and stop Eggman. So now back to the power up hand. You wanted to drain all the water down to its lowest level and come into this caution thing, because you'll be introduced to this pool of water here. You want to be fast when going through this pool of water because you are going to drown otherwise. So swimming into this, I kind of flubbed that up. So I'm gonna go back and get some air really quick. So let's come on, swim, 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 and head through the door. And let's head on to the little speed platform to get a little bit more speed. And the thing you want to do is swim underneath all of these things, turn around, and go through this hole. Going through this hole will lead you to a little small room. You want to head up, and hopefully you don't drown. How many more seconds do I have left? I think I might be running low now. And jump up to get the new power up the air necklace. The air tank allows Knuckles to breathe underwater. This power-up isn't all that effective in hero mode, to be perfectly honest, because there's not a lot of instances where Knuckles is underwater. Huh, I guess this was a useless power-up. Wink, wink. I'll see you when we get the next power-up. Finding a rocket is tricky, so we automatically assume that Eggman has one due to the fact that he can get into space, and it is Tails' job to find the entrance to this hidden base, hiding so-called rocket. We also learn from Knuckles that apparently Rouge the Bat is working with Eggman due to the fact that he, she, he saw Rouge the Bat enter this base with Eggman. That's a, a good theory, I guess, because, spoiler alert, Rouge is actually working with Eggman at this point. And I think I already spoiled that anyway in the uh, in the episode where we fight Rouge the Bat with Knuckles. Uh, again, my bad. I don't really pay that much attention to all of this. So it is Tails' job to find the entrance to the hidden base, and he does because we already saw the fact that he did. So anyway, we're going to show. Well, I'm going to show you the uh, power up in the hidden base. So hold on. Now that I'm done destroying a bunch of coconuts, oh, why did I call them bananas in that one episode? I know his name is Coconuts. I'm stupid. We can come over here and destroy more crates with our bazooka that we got to reveal. Well, let's not die in the quicksand to actually get to the power up, which is Mystic Melody. Mystic Melody, you can actually change. And the thing I didn't say before is that you can actually open these random doors with the Mystic Melody. And this door actually takes you farther into the level and into a chow key. So. No, actually, just to a chow key. I'm mistaken. So, I will see you all back in the next power-up. <laughs> so, apparently, a lot of story has happened between getting all of these random power-ups. We finally infiltrate Eggman's Pyramid to realize that we need three keys in order to get through. Luckily, Knuckles is an extra treasure hunter and finds the keys randomly hidden around the base. I'm surprised all three weren't under the doorstop, but that's beside the point. We actually find our way into getting to space through a giant rocket that is randomly inside the base that is randomly taking off. I have no idea why, but somehow we're able to hijack it. While hijacking this random rocket that is going inside of space, we accidentally hit a meteorite that is actually plummeting randomly towards us. And unfortunately, Knuckles' emeralds are master emerald pieces are lost through the cockpit. He decides it'd be a good idea to take control of the ship, go after the master emerald pieces himself, and, well, try to find the rest of them. He apparently lost more than three, even though we saw a lot of them fall out of the cockpit. I have no idea what this means, but I digress. And I screwed that up once again. Oh, don't worry, it respawns. I'm stupid. I forgot these rocks respawn. What you want to do to get this new power-up is to hit this rock all the way... Ah... Uh... Just hit the rock all the way over there so it hits that gate there that looks like it's broke. It looks like it's closed for good. So hopefully I can actually punch it this time. Can I punch you hard enough, Mr. Rocky? Oh, I can, if as long as I move forward a little. Break open this block, flip, flip the switch, and head into the middle here. Speaking of the middle here, this is where we fight Rouge for the last remaining pieces of the Master Emerald. For some odd reason, Rouge is in space. We have no idea how she got up here. Did she hit a ride with us? Did she head up with Eggman? Who knows? But in any, but in, but anyway, Knuckles happens to save her life, and she ends up giving up the Master Emeralds. Just because I think she likes the guy. And the next power up is the sunglasses. See things that you couldn't before. Change the action command with the Y button and press B to change it. So punch, dig, whistle, and sunglasses. Activate the sunglasses to find hidden things. Hidden containers that you can run into and get new stuff on. 
just jump to take him off. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And now let's get into a, sorry, let's get into a new person's treasure. So let's get going. So now we're hidden on the last power up of the game in Final Rush. So, a lot of stuff has happened. We've made our way into space. Well, I'm pretty sure we've already established that before. And figured out that the Eclipse Cannon is impenetrable from the outside. The fact that it's impenetrable from the outside means only one thing. We have to destroy it from the inside. And by destroying it from the inside, I totally mean the fact that we have to. Well, Tails showed us that he had created a fake... Ma uh, I was about to say Master Emeralds. Created a fake Chaos Emerald similar to the real one he, he already had. Uh, the fake Chaos Emerald has the exact wavelengths and patterns as the, as the other Emerald, but when placed inside Eggman's machine, it will automatically screw screw up the plans and detonate the uh, Eclipse Cannon, saving the Earth. Well, it, tur it so turns out that Eggman had a plan all along to capture it to capture Amy and force uh, Sonic to actually give him the emerald in hand and not screw up his plans to destroy his giant eclipse cannon. So Sonic goes to try to save Amy and Tails and ends up and ends up being captured by Eggman. He Eggman apparently knows that the emerald is fake. How does he know? Because Tails was stupid enough to tell him he fell for Eggman's trick. Eggman's April tricks. <laughs> he failed for Eggman's April tricks and sadly it and sadly, uh, Sonic was shot off into space to die. And by shot off into space to die, I totally mean he used the fake emeralds. Cha he utilized chaos control using the fake emerald and completely made it back on the arc where Knuckles found him unconscious. Sonic's new plan, because he had the fake emerald anyway, was to slam dunk it inside the machine since Eggman didn't even need the emerald, seven emeralds to fire his cannon in the first place, even though he asked for the emerald anyway, and the cannon was able to fire it anyway. I have no idea, this is a ginormous plot hole, but I digress. Sonic made it back, and now it's his now it's his job to try to destroy the cannon before it's all over. And it turns out that he does, in fact, make it to the cannon if it wasn't for Shadow in his way. That's right, Shadow the Hedgehog is once again in our way for like the third time. Well, yes, it is the third time. We randomly meet Shadow the Hedgehog at a random place once again. For some odd reason, Shadow is aboard the Space Colony Arc. Probably for the same reason Rouge the Bat is. And, well, we fight him one last time while rushing to try to place the Emerald. And we end up defeating him, we end up destroying the cannon, and end up saving the day. Hooray! So, now it's game over, and why are we playing the Dark Story again now that we know exactly what happens? Eh, I guess just for fun. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll meet you back at the power-up. And now that we're here, we'll notice the instance once again of these two branching pathways. Follow the first pathway down. Whoa. I jumped out of nowhere. Follow the first pathway down and climb up to the left here. Oh my goodness. This one is a doozy to get to because you have to have perfect timing to get to this rocket here. And I wouldn't say I had perfect timing. I just got extremely lucky. You want to fly on those platforms over there. Spring over here. Jump over here. Grind this rail upward. And get Sonic's Mystic Melody. All of this for Sonic's Mystic Melody? Was that totally worth it? Well... Not necessarily. <laughs> well, I guess you do get some rings for a ring dash, but yeah, who really cares? And I couldn't even ring dash, and I'm going to plummet to Earth anyway. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for all of the random power-ups you can get through Sonic's, well, the hero story. I meant to say the hero story. So anyway, Herp Derp, I am Walrus, and I will see you in the dark story. Bye.